Are you guys ready for this? I'm 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 excited. I don't think you're ready for this. Um, today I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Been waiting for this for nearly two years. Thanks again to Teddy for making this possible. A lawfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Thanks, be cool! Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set, but they have smiley faces on them. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. This is actually going very quickly. This text is. <clears throat> So I can't really jump to chat so much. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground. And that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. Perchance, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Not the name I would have expected. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of a quest for a legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. And the blind playthrough starts here. <laughs> Let's see. Early strong- oh, no, hang on. I can't look at things. This is going on its own. I came here on holiday only to be struck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is this town has a very, um, distinct flavor? Yes, Mohawk, I've never played this before. Oh, Missy, Missy. Oh, wait, what? Oh? Do you mean me? Hi, Matrix! Sorry, is this... Oh, yes, you, Missy. This is going on. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. <gasps> knickknacks and doodads! Oh, well... Um... Oh. Oh! Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magical lock on it and will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Cool. I know. The box will open for you, Missy. Then you may have whatever's inside. I'm sure whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. Hmm. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Not suspicious at all. Um, alright. What's the harm? Peach, don't ask what's the harm. You would know. I'll try to open it. I, I'm sorry I'm not reading chat, but this is going on its own and it's very dramatic. And I need to kind of- I kind of need to pay attention! Paper Mario, the thousand in your door! That's right. That's right. This is a blind run. I've never played this before. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Teddy, for making this possible for me. It was amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited just for you guys. Because I know a lot of you love this game so much. And I'm excited to experience it. The first game was so much fun. Mr. Mr. B's here. B Cool's here. Mohawk's here. Uh, um, Matrix is here. You, Mohawk, you were here. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Can't take all the credit? Well, I mean... Rogueport, such a kind town where there's town central squares a gallows. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna adjust one thing before we get started. Um, hmm. It's not enough to uh, Yeah, I have slot B. I got slot B. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, Magic Conch. Will Kenshin love this game? Break a leg. Or maybe two. 
I don't know if Couch likes that or not. All right. Um, there's only one question answer to that question. Let me adjust things on the GameCube. Hopefully, okay. So, hopefully, when I put the other game, the other uh, memory card in slot B or slot A, it's in slot B now. Hopefully, it recognizes that. Uh, we're gonna find out. Oh wow, the GameCube memory screen. Tam, does that bring back memories? I didn't break it yet. No. Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> my copy of Thousand Year Door got lost when my parents divorced and I had to leave. <gasps> oh, Mr. B, that's terrible. All right, let's try this again. Read my memory card. Not all the games do. Oh, I like how it's like, do you want to access the memory card stuff? Yeah, that's just a, that's just a, a reset on the system. Just pff, game resets the system. Neat. God, okay. That's one of those, um, like, third-party, uh, memory cards. Yo, file slot blue! Um, that's, like, way bigger than the original cards were. And not every game recognizes that it even fucking exists. Some of them are like, you don't have a memory card in! And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> but, fortunately, this game just required it to be in slot A. Where was it in slot B before, so. We're golden. Yo, we're golden. Slot blue, baby. Oh, oh. Pick my name. Well, you know who we is. Yo, we Kenshin, though. Is the name okay? Hell yeah. How big? Oh, I don't remember. Slot blue. <laughs> Dab and Squidward. Hell yeah. Carry? Hey, buddy. Mail call. I don't remember if I gave him any sort of voice. Also, how's the sound? Very important. Paper Mario is Luigi. Luigi, are you coming on our, on our adventure this time? That would be wonderful. I love you. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. It's good? It's good compared to we got a good thing going on? I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Him. No, let's just see here. Hello, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. Hey, bro, we're being hacked. <laughs> but it says it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself. I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach! The Rogueport and the surrounding areas count as the Mushroom Kingdom? Apparently they do. Here's your limo back. So yeah, since this is blind, no spoilers, please. And, um, I'll probably ask for mechanics help, maybe. But for the most part, I do want to do this on my own. Uh, so even, like, backseat gamey stuff, uh, keep that down a little bit unless I ask. Mario will die. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> totally a spoiler. Oh, yeah, I should do that. You're right. It's added to it. All good. That means you take... <laughs> Me? Oh, what do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with a letter. I'll check it out. Oh, yeah. Is 
finger got pointed in the opposite direction. Hey look, a second title screen! He caught me in 4K! Time for an objection finger pointing battle. I didn't mean to spoil, there was a blue save slot! Jeez, Teddy. Nah, you guys are good. And I know you guys are super cool, and you would never spoil me on purpose. I, res I, I know all of you are cool. Prologue! A rogue's welcome. Alright. I'm more of a mage than a rogue type myself, but... Spoilers! <laughs> Excuse me, sir? I don't know everything about this game, so I'll mainly keep quiet when I'm around. I would never tell you, for example, that Hyperlink blocked Peaches in this game. What? <laughs> There's a huge, a huge game, so much to do. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh. All right. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. We will find out. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? Oh, I absolutely do. I did tell you all the sordid details of the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? I know ev I do know everything about this game, so I will only answer questions that are either, either flagrantly obvious or directly asked of me. I'll try and make it obvious if I legitimately want a thing. I may ask questions just like, what the hell? What's going on? How do I do this? But but I'll try and be obviously like, yo, guys, I'm asking for real this time. How does this work? <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess here waiting for you? <clears throat> Is that so? Um, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Weird boat. Oh my god. Alright. Just to be cautionary, I don't mind people stating fake chapters or things like that. But perhaps we shouldn't say, oh, this up upcoming part is hard or something, as that could spoil something. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily want to know any of that stuff. Even if, sure, technically it'll help me. But like, I mean a code word? <laughs> no, the code word's just gonna be like, hey guys, I'm for reals this time, just tell me. I'm legitimately asking. <laughs> Okay, I need to turn up the TV because I don't know any of these songs. Banana! Are there any bananas in this game? <laughs> because if there's bananas in this game, that's a terrible code word. Carry word. Now turn up the TV. It's a very joyous song. Very dramatic. Wait, I didn't even get to see what Diana said. What? What's going on? I didn't. I didn't see it at all. I was up moving the TV. Chariots? What? This song has a lot going on. Holy crap. Whoop. Well, that happened. I'm wondering about any bananas as well. Let's try and see if I can jump on this. I can't. Whoop! Oh, mm. well, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. It was a fake spoiler, but just wanted to have fun. I figured it was. Oh, I'm actually losing health for that. Excellent. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, huh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. No, I'm wearing red. My brother didn't come. He's wearing green. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Don't worry, Teddy, I remembered you're a mod this time. Hit this block to save, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my spoilers! Yes, all of my progress. Let's save it. Let's save it. Boom. What do you want, 
pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. What do you, why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Okay. I can't reach. Oh, I do have a hammer, though. Whoa. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now. Oh, <laughs> Who's hot? This, this robotic dude? <laughs> She's my girl, but also regularly hangs with this one spiny turtle lad I go go-karting with. Apparently this other Earth has portal guns that can make portals on anything. We've had guys just walking along, and suddenly a poor track opens up beneath them, and they fall out of the well. I'm thinking maybe we should work out a truce. I'll let you know if we can get in touch with this evil Cave Johnson. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, 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 buh. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. Lord Crump. Crumply! No! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? I must save her! I'm gonna talk to people first. Oh, yikes. Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Crump always down for the crumping. Blimey, a fight? Corkin! <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching some poor bloke have it out with his missus, eh? Crumbly, that's the first thing you think. <laughs> Am I right, mate? Yes, it is. It's robotic dude. Blabber the way you scallywag. Move your everlong bones. Alright, it might be a little too loud on the TV, actually. I'm worried about it getting any louder. I think I found a happy medium. Alright, now. I do... I'm vaguely aware... Of her. Like I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Huh, not likely. This is a nice theme, actually. So far, music has been very good, yeah. I'm aware of her, because Luca really likes her. Um, that's Ms. No Arms. <laughs> Uh. Oh, what? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Yeah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. No, put that back in your pants, sir. Okay, Johnson here. There are at least six evil su test suspects now. And to be honest, they're not even testing anymore. They're all just portaled away, portaled in, made a human pyramid, ate my lunch, and portaled out. I love Cave Johnson. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. What are you gonna do? Uh, let's see. Um, six. Well, I want, I want to switch to... Her? Can I not? Will she do her own thing? Alright, we're just gonna jump on this boy first. How does she know you have a hammer, though? Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, um... Mo- okay. <laughs> I may have to adjust- jump out of my seat and adjust one more thing. Just because, um, I've been playing Pokemon on OBS, but there's just enough of a delay, uh, between- from the TV and the game through OBS that when I do um, reaction stuff, like, in battle, <laughs> probably not make it. So, hold on, just hold tight for me. Um, hang on, how am I gonna do this? Um, don't mind me, don't mind things. Do -do 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 -do. Moving the webcam, moving the light. Next time we won't have to adjust all this nonsense, uh, because it'll already be, already be, already be good to go. Oh god, I got shit everywhere 
down here. I'm gonna have my engineers invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Burning people, he says what we're all thinking. Don't you love it? Okay, now I need to adjust again. Again! All right, cool, cool beans. Love it. All right, jump. Press H before stomping on the enemy. See if I can do it. Didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you're doing awesome. Don't let up. Oop. Mm, I'm gonna have to remember how all this shit works. Yo, rumble. That's exciting. Don't think I got it. Yo, I avoided though, like a boss. Is this on hardware or emulation? Yo, this is legit. This is legit. Uh, I don't have the actual case, unfortunately. But I have a case that it came in. Uh, Teddy managed to acquire me a copy. A physical copy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Looks like a real GameCube controller to me. It sure is. It's not even third party. Some emulators struggle with this game. Nah, we're in it. We're good. We are good to go. You got him in the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. I'm not a whale. All right, I can do his dodge, but I can't do his jumpy. Still working on it. No. Nope. Noise. I have zero issues with dolphin. Well, that's good. That's good. Yo, got it this time. Robotics did. You did it. You did it. Yeah, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you'd know. But you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Thanks, girl. You got nine! I don't have issues, but I've seen people running on Dolphin and it struggled hard. But it could have been an earlier version. Okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But... Unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh god. Punish him! I'm just gonna keep jumping. Well, <laughs> we're dead. Quick, this way! How do we just get out? Ooh, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go. Looks like there could be something there. There was not. Okay, bye. Uh -huh. Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Cave Johnson? Comical dust cloud of them trying to beat us up, not realizing we're there at all. It's good, it's good. Huh? Um, McCrud, they bolted. Somehow. Those little minions look like first stage Pokemon, and he looks like the evolution. Cave Johnson here, just wanted to let you know that after decades of research and testing, we finally transformed into beings of pure light. Go team! Not exactly what we were after, but in the ballpark. Cave Johnson the minion. Oh, wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a reward. Aww. My name's Goombella. I'm his student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? And me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but jeez. Ugh, I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for that legendary treasure here. She is very blonde sounding. I don't know what she's like yet, so I'm just picking a voice. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? Yeah, just show that to everybody you come across, Mario. That's probably fine. Oh my gosh. 
Is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Did I miss the kiss? You just barely missed the kiss. Games ideas maker just barely. Welcome, welcome. Damn it. <laughs> like seriously, 10, 15 seconds. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Oh, that's not her. Oops. Who dat? Oh, oh, it's Toadsworth. Bit of a coincidence bumping into each other in this sort of place, ho. Oh. Mm -hmm. How's it going, games, ideas maker? How are you tonight? It's good to have you. I'm playing this for the first time. Ever. So, no spoilers. Just enjoy my ride. <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Mm -hmm. Oh, indeed. A Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? Mafia Piant is in the background heckling a guard. Yeah, it's hard for me to concentrate on all the stuff going on in the background, too. That's pretty funny, though. I love seeing Piantas. Doing good tonight. I'm excited to finally be playing this. I've been hanging on to this since Christmas. Yeah, they totally beat up some poor son. I did! I missed it! Damn it! <laughs> well, and she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. I intrigue you. Uh huh. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off of her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. What? Already? <laughs> Excuse me? We've barely begun! Come on, now! I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Uh, surely we can find her. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. I like how this game did that stuff. Have cool extras going on in the backgrounds. Oh, <laughs> you clipped the mafia! But I'm just not paying enough attention. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you! I believe I'll recline in the inn over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your heart points running low. Just drop in, and drop on in, ho 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 uh, Anyway, a little rest will fill up all your HP. I could use that at this point. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Uh, yes, rough indeed. The boss sends his regards. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? That's all right, Diana. I love how quickly he gives up. He's like, oh, well, she's gone forever, I guess. Doop, 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 doop. The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think she, maybe she got sick of waiting and went to go find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors here is researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. The one that was always being nabbed by the Koopa King? The same one I go-kart with on weekends? Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, okay. Boom, Bella, join your party. We got Ms. No Arms. Tell me about her. What does she do? Boom, Bella's abilities. A primer. Press X to get information about people, places, and objects. Okay, so she's Goombario again. Who I loved. Goombario was great. I used him all well so much. Don't forget she plays tennis with her baby self every other Tuesday. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's always a cross- or it's a crossword where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. Thanks, girl. I make so many jokes about how most of the Mario games are actually not real and they're just friends. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when someone's nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? I did. Thanks, darling. She can give you hints about... Sorry. Just recognizing this song. That's one that Arlo uses all the time in his backgrounds. 
for his videos. She's like, hang on, I know this. <laughs> I'm not surprised that this is the song he chose. Oh, and of course, Goombella can also be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HPs and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Yo, give me that tattle, that's my favorite! Maybe Bowser's just really a security sublet contract for the Mushroom Kingdom? But first off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. You just had a picture in your pocket? Thanks. I will not miss that. I need to adjust the TV one more time. So sorry. <laughs> Teddy! Okay. It's Mushroom Bernie Sanders! No kidding, it kind of was. I think Bernie Sanders wore glasses, though. Not 100% on Jot. Anywho! Hey, talk to me. I'm looking for this guy that defrauded me with a great fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. Oh, does he? I don't even remember. This dude. What the hell is this dude? Professor Frankly, actually, I think a guy like that... Uh, lives, uh, over on the east side. Just go to east from here. As you enter the town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? This guy steals something important from you or what? I can tell you everyone and everyone. I just got to town, so I don't know where he is. Ha ha ha. I have a friend who actually met Bernie in 2016 when she was studying for a doctorate. That was cool. That's hecka cool. Hey, uh, I could use this in. <laughs> I took some damage. Oh, it's like a bar. Every jewel shines and plays. It's a boom, bass, a boom. Best of all, the Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly, four times is whacked. Now all the fireworks, boom and crack. It's a boom, bass, a boom. Best of all, the Skull, the Skull Captain casts his gaze. The Red Jewel. Oh, that's the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Aha, what are you doing sneaking up on a person while he sings most jovially? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, oh, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. What a song. Indeed. Uh, your nose is something else. Oh, hello. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Poot. Po a poodly. Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix drinks and stories. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go up and relax. I intend to do that. I like how he didn't care that I was behind the counter at all. I feel like I am not... Oh, man. Can't you take a hint, pal? That, that, that means scram! Don't talk to me! Okay, sorry. Oi, I used to sail around and run, run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now! Used to go round, exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. <laughs> like a bumblebee, once you explode, you die. I imagine Flavio to have Mr. Krabs' voice. I can't quite do that. <laughs> Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. I would. I imagine it was James from Pokemon. <laughs> <clears throat> I like how we all have different interpretations. It's great. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Also sold. <laughs> oh, where in the world could the sprinters have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that. I would never have seen this door if I hadn't just adjusted my monitor. Hello? Opens at 11 a.m. today. What time is it? What time is it? I don't believe it's there is a time. 
Well, all right then. Never mind. Time for you to get a watch! Uh, oh, a uh, door? Door? Could go back in the door! I deserve that dab. I'll be honest with you. Oh! -ho! I like these skulls. Those are exciting. I feel like this place has a lot more personality than Toad Town did. Whoa! Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Seeing that sign opens at 11 a.m. reminds me of playing this on the demo rails at Walmart. Nice. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh, shit. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Yeah, that's pretty shitty. Hey, you big old rube. I ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. But how am I supposed to explore? Well, hello, mustache man. Um, that guy looks like he has a low bunny on his face. Power up your partner. Talk to me from the other side of the table. Use my hammer. Unfortunately, it was 10 a.m. when I got there. Is there a time in this game? I have playtime. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. The three shine sprites, I can shop power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, partner, would you like me to pa None. I have nothing. Oh, you don't have enough shine sprites, be gone! My bad. So where am I to use my hammer? Um. What the fuck is that guy? No, I guess not. Oh, what time is it on my GameCube? Oh, does it follow that? I don't know what time it is officially on the GameCube. It could be wrong. Oh, hi, there you are. Oh, oh hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Was ya? Was ya? Who watch me? Yeah, yes, you. And yeah, you, uh, uh. I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. It's just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Erm. Erm. Yeah, I've got it. You're Goombell, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year. Am I right? <laughs> wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom Go Goombas. Yeah, of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You know, you stick out like a... You stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... <laughs> Who? Mario. Professor, he's Mario, you know. The famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue what you hip now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? Yeah, we were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below the rogue port. I thought about... I thought that if anyone would know about it, it would be you, Professor Frankly. Now, of course I know about it. The reason I came here is to study that very subject. Stephanie's replacement. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. And well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, I've had to treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard. Others say it's a magical item. It's probably something dumb like the power of friendship. Isn't that what One Piece is gonna be? Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously. 
It's impossible to find the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. Find a treasure, one must have. The crystal shards! The crystal shards? Yo, I got all of those in Kirby 64. I'm in it. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal shards to the thousand year door. The legendary treasure? I bet it doesn't even exist. You mean the crystal sh star? I want to say shards every time. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that the super elderly people pass on? Indeed, the shame. As the shame goes, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you first have to collect the seven crystal shards. I'm gonna just say shards. That's just what it's gonna be. Hold the magical map of Loft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway... <laughs> uh, it's a little bit eeny, except without that, like, you know, like, and, um, like... <laughs> then it'll show you where to find these, the crystal shards, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the eeny voice. Correct, and the cows on your door supposedly they are deep beneath this town. Do the hands. It doesn't really work to this song. Get the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. You mean this map? But we do have a professor, or well, not we exactly, but Mario has the map. You're good, Diana. <laughs> what? For really? Oh, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Here you go. Astounding. This is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. You, Shun, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With dish. Find the crystal shards just by holding aloft this, uh, this, by just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. <clears throat> Good golly, what are we just sitting around here for then? Gubella, Mario. Off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope that mat never gets set on fire or snagged or torn on something. That'd be pretty lame. Yeah, they should, uh, they should laminate that right quick. Take a look at it in here. Can I smash? I'm hitting your books! Nope, okay. I bet you didn't notice Rotten Thing came off, did you? <laughs> okay. How'd you do that with no hands? We can use this pipe to get under the shitty streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. This part of the magic is that it's indestructible, but it looks pretty raggedy and torn. Truth? Truth? That the truth. Oh, wait, hang on a second. And Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly sure there are quite a few hoodlums below, so, uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about the action commands, do you? Of course! Well, no, just tell me. Huh. Positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. You can go, go learn, look for the person who stole your money. Can I actually go find them? Because I do want to go find them. We'll have a little practice session. Goombaria, or Goombella? Goombario. Goombella be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee. Um, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice to jump in. Is that okay with the boat to you? Choose to jump command and then choose which enemy. Okay. We are just gonna do this just to be safe. We could go kick his butt. No, he's gonna go kick my butt. Da, 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 yep. Right there. If it's a magical map, I doubt it'll get torn or obliterated. You don't know. Nice! Shake a leg. Okay, here goes Mario. Exodia, obliterate that map! 
Ah, Explodia, it's not possible. All right, I haven't done the hammer yet, so that's good. Hold left. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I did. And now so another rousing action command success. Very nice. Yeah, I think I'm good. A really incredible technique. I doubt it. Oh. Oh, that's a new one. Turn the foe's attack back on them. It's a super guard. Huh. They're harder to do. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I will forget. Oh, professorial humor. No, I got it. I'm good. I know, frankly, had time controlling powers. Well, I do believe we're now chef for a quest. Willow, we go. Up under the pipe until down to enter the pipe. Nope, not yet. No, I can't smash. I can't smash. Old people always have secret techniques they don't tell young people about. All right. I would like those coins if possible. Also, I didn't finish looking at the city, so, uh... Also, saving before I go would be nice. Yeah, these gallows. Um, that's kind of upsetting. Can't lie to you. Store... Pickpocketing on the rise, watch your wallet. And hey, pickpocketers try not to get caught. Very nice. Can't do that. You smell that? That smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Okay. Hey, a house. A cooking house. A kitchen, if you will. Like they've got some uh some pretty patties down here. Hello? Can I do anything? Oh, oh, nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely profit. A hundred percent. Alright, I'm sure kitchen will come into play later. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and leave me a little contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! I'll bring my brown pants today. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Going this way. Ah, idiot! You stepped on it by poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? My bad! This is your fault! I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it! Good job. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens! Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well. Huh. Yeah, my bad. I assume there was no way to get out of that. <laughs> Just looking around. We didn't really get to explore this super well. Is there a satellite dish up there? Excuse me? Weird. You can't just deny passage to an entire district just because you're a little salty. Ew, salt in your contact lens? That sounds awful. Looks like the Goon Squad cleared out. So, uh, so we can't get those coins back. Oh, well, we can go this way. Oh. Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? 
But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Good idea, salt the replacement lenses vengeance. Oh god, it's smelly in here. Um, sir? Oops! Uh, a fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain! Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Ew, it's disgusting in here. Holy shit. Here. My coins! Thanks, Thanks buddy. Let me give you a news flash. Even the most innocent looking people in this town are thieves. Yeah, you're not one of those innocent looking people. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? I I will not. I saw that shining back there. I got your thing. Alright, bye, weirdo. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell somebody. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in the other town until just about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I went to Rogue Pool. I missed that the first time, look at you shine. I saw that shit sparkling back there. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah, you're not, though. Alright, well, we got our coins back. And I can't see anything immediately to do. So I'm gonna boogie on out. The heat comes down on the operation. Love the gourd, fear the gourd. Don't know what that's referring to. Alright, let's do it! That's an old one? I do not recognize it. Oh, hey, a save point. Hey, look! Another common tune in Arlo, in Arlo videos. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be trippy. Oh, ooh, I like that character design. Can't jump over. Hello? I like this too. Aha, uh -huh, welcome, Mario. There are quite a few bangers in this game that I've had to hold off sending to you. Acts of Gord, a web series of shorts about a game store owner and the sheer flood of idiocy he had to put up while running it. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I am more lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities, is that what you seek? It's my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! Uh -huh. So, shall I see something for you? Usually I see people hammer him a couple of times when they catch him. So sorry for the misinfo in my memory. Oh, you're okay, be cool. That's all right. Uh, no, I'm good then. Ah, I said so. Well... If there's ever anything you want to ask, to find, just ask. You gonna, like, do that thing where you have a chance of doubling my experience? Cause that was my jam! Yo, what did that on accident? Nice. Okay, can't go forward from there. Probably can't break this, but I bet if I get a... A bomb, buddy, that'll break open. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's that hottie you got there with you? Oh, uh, excuse me. Talk about the random spell lady? Oh my god, yes. We had that go off so much in Paper Mario. It was amazing. Like, oh no, he's hot! God damn it! <laughs> that hot clip is the best thing I've ever done. No. We had it go off like three or four times in one stream at one point. And like it would it went off it kept going off during like boss battles. So I get so many star points. It was amazing. They're talking about frankly again. What's up, baby? Why don't you come hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Yeah, I bet you do. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch. That was cold. 
What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. <laughs> Can't flee this fight. Yo, we got it. <clears throat> a Goomba, a shiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle. The spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? We'll jump on that and you're the one who'll take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer can't reach. You'll have to jump on him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Yo, boy, you gonna help me out or are you just gonna stand there? Yeah, this battle team's pretty sick. Why didn't she like him? Can't they see? Can't she see they're such nice guys? Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you're battling. Okay, there we go. That's what I want to know. I do, in fact, want that. I would like you... No. Is it an attack, technically? It is. Alright, let's get these out of the way. <laughs> oh, she's so cute! Oh, poops! Oh, I didn't know you could fuck that up. Damn it! Alright, never mind. Oh, I have to do this. Boom! There'll be more chances. Yo, dodged it! Oh, never mind. She doesn't have a chance. Alright, let's try the tattle again, shall we? I didn't know what I was doing there. That's a spiky Goomba, a spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name! That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer instead of jumping on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh! Thanks, girl. Boom! Okay, this, this tune is a jam. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP 2, attack 1, defense 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. She's turning more and more sassy in Valley Girl as I go. Boom! Noise. Oh, wee! <laughs> Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where Jack came from, and they'll all have it in for us. If only she, well, she doesn't have arms to wave with. Soon the the, the Goombella Amy fusion will be complete. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them in the field. Attack successful, and you'll get a first strike. Oh yeah, the first strike. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them when you go into battle. And do. Save all the time. Yeah, this this uh this game is a jam so far. All these songs. It can be a gear. Oop. Save all the progress. Always. Watch down dish pop! Remember Jesus saves the game. He shoots, he scores! You struck first! And I killed him. Shouldn't have done that. I still need his, uh, I need to still use his tattle. That's okay. There'll be plenty more opportunities. Coins! I do kind of love this. Oh, is he technically not a Paragoomba anymore? That's a Goomba. Yeah, um, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, it says Goombas are the underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their max HP is 2, they have attack power of 1, because they're
So yeah, one thing I did in the first Paper Mario game was use Goombario all the time for tattling. Because I'm the kind of person that loves um, knowing the info about enemies. I'm like, I want to know how much... Mostly I want to know how much HP they have. I love having the little bar at the bottom of the screen to tell me the things. I find it super helpful. Plus she has all that fun uh, garbage to talk about. A feel-good mushroom. Excellent. Yo, gotcha, bitch. Smash! Also had to go mobile for a little bit, but the Valley Girl voice is exactly what I imagined. Hell yeah. She's not like a, a dumb Valley Girl, so I'm not gonna go full any with that like, um, like, but she's gonna, she's more of the, a, um, the confident Valley Girl. Oh man, should I have gone back up top? Oh, oh. Hang on. That was hidden, so we'll keep looking first. Whoop, whoop. I can't do it. Oh god. And the underground rogue port battle themes are amongst the ones I wanted to send. They're very good. I assume I can't. Oh, I can't get by that. But I can't do anything about it. Okay, good to know. The voiced Mario clips are a little distracting in the same way that um I found that uh Oh, let's see. What was it? So, when they did the port of Link to the Past to the Game Boy Advance, I think it was, um, they changed in... They added all the voice clips from Ocarina of Time to it. So, Link, you'd like... You're on a 2D thing. And Link would be like, Yeah! Hoi! Yeah! And I'm like, I don't, I don't know that I like that. I never got used to that. This I'll probably get used to, but it's very distracting for the first run. Oh, alright. I couldn't have done anything anyway. But I had to come check. Angie block. Angie indeed. I sort of like the little noises as it gave him a little more to his reactions. Yeah. And just because I know it so well from another game... I don't know, I find it a little distracting. Oh. Angry! But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Oh! That, um... He was coming right for us! Oh good, he's not totally dead yet. I can tattle on him. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery cardboards. It certainly looks unique. No one knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1 on the Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee ya! Oh, I will. I feel like that one belongs in Origami King. Some weird stuff in the water down here. Seems like it, doesn't it? As you're seeing now, I love the partners have HP. It's simple, but I do. Oh god. I'll be honest, I 100% did not notice that the partner had HP. But I like that better too. Because um, it was really annoying just like one hit, partner down for a bit. That was pretty annoying. I do, I think I do like that better. Ding. Oh, damn it! <laughs> no, you're good, Teddy. Mr. B was right! Hey, a key! I would like this. I was the spoils! Bloop. You're good, Teddy, it's all good. I'll let it slide this time. 
Don't let it happen again. <laughs> uh -huh! No. You got a black key. What could it be for? Whoop. But I'm not a mod! <laughs> also, no. Uh, hello? Okay. Oh, hey, look. I wonder what it could be for. Do you think it's for this? Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? Wait, what? Is that the rain I hear? <gasps> Yo, Teddy, is it raining? Hell yeah! Nice! Get in that rain. You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me. Locking me in this box. I was bummed. Goosh. Been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah, anyway, big guy. What brings a hero you, like you to this place like this? Er, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention we're looking for the crystal shards. But you just did. Well, Adrian. I just shit it out loud! What's wrong with me? <laughs> At least he's aware that he did it. Oh, yeah, searching for the crystal shards, are we now? So you're really a hero. I'm dropping that voice, because I'm already a little sore. Frankly, it's okay. I did it, too. Frankly needs a replacement, bum. These were a lot of replacements. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. <laughs> Them bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. You mean, like this one in my pocket? Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes for you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in this box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, old great legendary hero. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes! Oh man, I owe you big. A key! Yes, thank- Haha, -ha, thanks nothing! Weehee! Fools! Oh, it's Francisco Van Karma in there? Who locked her in a box? Foolish fools who foolishly fool around with foolish keys. Oh god. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Full count 66? Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Keys that make faces come to life. Face, what has happened to you? You guys remember Face from Nick Jr.? <laughs> he go to jail for a while? Buckley, Buckley, woo, you're cursed. Wee hee hee, enjoy that curse, sucker. How's that curse I curse you with, Kirsty? You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. Face, what a flashback. You're welcome. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Face, oh my gosh. Oh, man. You're welcome for that, guys. Wee hee, trembling yet. Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Now, stick stickly, I don't remember offhand. I'd have to look that up. Wee hee hee. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're all doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I'll owe it to you to explain it. Ready? You stand on an aero airplane panel like the one I'm gonna show. Uh, the, it'll glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y. And then BAM! You're a paper airplane! Oh. Worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you've got good at it, you might fly a long way. Oh, but that's the only good thing. So, be honest. Is this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? I zoned out. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so frightening you lost control of your brain. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say that. I thought it was funny. Oh, 
Oh yeah, super terrible. The worst. Can't believe you. How dare you? <laughs> you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Well, you foolish fool. Foolish fools who foolishly gallivant foolishly with fools. You fear the power of my horrible curse. Uh, so, uh, wow. Just, oh, wow. What was that guy's beef? Fool count 68. <laughs> Classic. All right. Well, that explains what that thing was. I actually forgot to watch what the full count was. Gonna have to rewatch. Yeah, I think we kind of gave up on the full count, didn't we? Um. Oh, I see. Huh? Neat. <clears throat> Mysterious. Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that. It's the thousand year door, spoken of in legends. I can't believe it's real. You could have easily come down here without. Without me. We haven't even used my map yet. Ooh, a sepia filter. Show the legends are all true. Here it is, biggest life. Come on, let's get closer. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Closer? Who said that? I'm looking around. Hey, look. A very convenient save point. Whoop. Well, he might not have had a hammer for those blocks. That's true. Yeah, but then Bernie would have been cursed and nobody wants that. Looking around, looking out. Oh. Hey, what's the deal with that weird pedestal? What do you think it could be? Hey. Okay. That's a door, all right. I'm gonna stand on it. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Was that supposed to be? What language is that sexual? Really, pedal? <laughs> I have no idea that which word set off the filter. Yeah, pedal for some reason. I have no idea. Ah, uh, professor, what's going on? What? That's all right. Uh, the one time in, what, Lawina's chat, I said rear, like, we were, I think we were playing marbles, and I was in, in the end. I was, like, the last one, and I was like, oh, and I'm bringing up the rear, and it was like, no, get your naughty word, you can't use that. <laughs> yes, yeah, stool makes more sense, but no. <laughs> My map! Well, at least we know it's the real deal. Hey, look! A crystal shard. The location of a crystal shard has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal shard, you'll learn a new special move. Neat! Last one I got in trouble for in Louise... Louise... Oh... But she played Paper Mario! That was legitimately a name! Oh, that's funny. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that the information related to the location of the crystal shards has appeared. In its shining light, it looks to show a mysterious power was given to Mario. Yeah, not real trouble, just the Automod. Same. Well, one way or another. We should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I see. That dude just outside, just hanging out. You understand it, Professor? 
my dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it will. Uh, stuff like this is better explained by examples and words. Would you like to try it out? Uh, okay. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. You think? Just a little bit. Oh, we have an audience this time. First, check your star power gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one! Okay, just one power dot. Obviously, it's a single unit of power. I wanted to fight in this room. Okay. If you have a star power available, you can use a special move. Okay, alright. Got it. But I don't. Well, I do need it now, actually. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, I see. Alright, I'm following what's going on here. No, oh, good what? Well. <laughs> Don't look back at the camera, Toad. So what's with the... One 11. Eternity later. There's 11 uh, people in the audience. Okay. Gauge empties out, you can charge it up. That's why the audience watching your battles is very important. Hmm. Dang you, poison shrew! If you can get the audience excited, you'll build more star power. Oh, my viewers! You guys, it's you guys in chat! Try and attack me, please. Okay, say no more! You get donations from them? Oh! I see. So the star power just doesn't go up automatically like um, in the previous game. I have to earn it back with, with audience members. Interesting. We're given star biddies. Interesting. That's pretty cool. That's a fun little mechanic. <clears throat> okay. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Bingo! Oh, dang. Holy shit. Wow. Fantastic. You match three icons. Huh. Oh, whoa, welcome, Raiders! <laughs> Also use the appeal command to get star power. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. That's fun. It is a fun mechanic. Look at your audience. That guy's uh that guy's got a hammer. He does the bomb, he means to toss it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. Okay. Man the countermeasures! No kidding! This is very analogous to a fucking Twitch. Sweet justice! That's hilarious. Did my toss good stuff? Ooh. That is intense. There's a lot going on in these battles. That's so cool! Nice. I think that's a really cool addition. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the. Whoa! Astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal shard. It's a bit... Who wants to help you get famous? Oh, bud. Would you like to buy followers and, and subs? 
It looks like the first crystal shard can be found in a place called the, Pe the Petal Meadows. But don't spell it with a D, or the auto mod's gonna get you. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is in a vast meadow that lies to the east of Roveport. Where's Mod Teddy when you need him? He's here. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. I just got it. Dead in a cemetery five miles away. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to the Petal Meadows. Oh. That's why it doesn't like it? That seems shaky. I guess. But that's such an actual- that's an actual word that would definitely come up. Nah. You could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Yeah, it's a stretch. But that's probably what it is, you're probably right. A shade, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where'd you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent us to you, Mario? It's Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? It would indeed. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it is her. You know it'd be funny if for stream two we replaced Kenshin's copy with Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. <laughs> what, Hotel Mario? <laughs> On the CDI? I'd play it. For a minute at least. You gotta add that uh-huh as one of the commands. Oh, that's good. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal shards and my suspicions about the petal meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go there on her own. No, that would be hilarious. bad. <clears throat> you know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Mm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. The Google translated ROM hack of Paper Mario? Oh god, I gotta look into that. That's hilarious. Alright, it's shittled. Off to Petal Meadows you go! If Princess Peach were indeed went there, your first priority must be catch up to her. Collecting the crystal shards is a means to an end, and the end is Princess Peach. May I have that back, please? Thank you. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old goomba like me can handle the travels of the road. Turns about 95 in the text into utter nonsense. Naturally, naturally. Well, now I'm curious. I'm going to have to go look it up. I'm going to watch a video on it or something. Of course, if anything happens and you need advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Don't tell me what to do, woman. Wait just a moment! Oh. Hello? Ooh. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and remove? No, I, I think I can figure that out, thanks. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. No. By the way, you need flower points to use your smash move. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. In battle, you not only have to watch your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find a pipe to the Petal Meadows. You mess up the quote. Well, he's definitely not as cool as the old man in the cave, let's be honest. Alright. It's equipped! Alright, what does it do now? Wear this, blah blah blah. Let you whack an enemy with great power, wearing two or more of these for the move, but increase it. Okay. Hey. Cool. Old man in the cave gave us a sword. Frankly, gave us a Cub Scout badge. And don't forget it. <clears throat> Wow, that toad is stunned. Absolutely stunned. What? 
Summons a scary spirit to chase some enemies away. Listen to sleep, another fire, tasty medicine, sweet snack. Hey, your fellow, welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Oh, it's a mustache. <laughs> it looks like the toads are just like... <laughs> like that one emote. The, the... I can't think. Is that a, uh... Oh, fuck it, there's an emote that makes that face. Yeah, I see it now. It's just a slightly different color than the than the eyeballs. Customers receive one shot point for each purchase they make. You with me? Yeah, that's the one, Diana. Thank you. Save up enough shot points and you get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. Well, I've been told. It's a pretty simple promotion. Uh, no. Okay. I would take these. And I would take these. Where's that sign? Hey, a sign. Okay. Gold bars, jam and jellies. Alright, alright. It's just too easy to talk about this game. It's really good so far. I'm I'm very much enjoying it. Let's try to see if I could read these wanted posters. Ah, uh, I'll go farther and then save. Save all the things. Yeah, so far music is really good. The battle additions are really cool. I'm excited to see how those uh, play out. The humor's there, of course. And I'm enjoying that it's not so far just a typical Ah, oh, Bowser kidnapped Peach again! Although it might turn into that, who knows. Um, but at the moment we're safe. <clears throat> Goombella's super cute. Oh. <laughs> I want that chest. Probably can't get to it yet. Uh, hello? That thing's kind of soggy. Yeah, okay. Bloop, bloop! Ouch, that hurt! audience members. Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and whacked someone's tootsies like that? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hurt your tootsies. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with serious moxie, that too. It's Jelly's ghost. <laughs> Jelly, I'm so sorry, baby. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache man. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Blue, 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 blue. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Don't talk to me about that. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Well, you're gonna you're gonna go in front and. Eh? No, I'd rather have her him in front, and then she will battle. <clears throat> That's a blooper and a super humongous one at that too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand nasty, nasty, slimy, icky things. Gross, gross. Max HP is twelve. Okay, attack is one, defense is zero. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both of its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have three HP. Now relax and house that slimy, nasty blooper. Bro, we got this. Whoop. Oh, he's poor Tootsies. He's poor Tootsies. I don't know if I was a hammer. Oh, I gotta jump.
Oh, dang it. Yo. Oh, I feel bad. The poor blooper. Dang it. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Bing. For some reason I can't get the double hit with, with her. Reese's puff, Reese's puff. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Hey, come back here. Oh, you jerk. What a jerk. Smash! Oh! What was that? I had a hard time with the jump commands in the beginning when I first played. I'm getting Mario's okay. But the head bonk is not... Oh, there it is. I'm not having as much luck with the head bonk yet just yet. I'll have to be careful about it. I expect the timing is very subtly different from that of Mario 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's also why I'm not watching it on OBS like I usually do. Or I have been. Blah, blah. Hey, we did it. Whoop. Oh, she's gone. She's gone again. Ooh. Chapter one. Showed that blooper who's a pooper. I'm the pooper. What does it say? Castle and dragon? All right. Well, it's been nice knowing you, Gumbella. Hey, Petal Meadows, we made it. Victory Screech! <laughs> also a good choice. Well, here we are at the Petal Meadows, where folks say the Crystal Shard hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Hell yeah, girl. Oh, this song's super good! Ha 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 ha! Oh! I didn't expect them both to have something. It is, though. Yeah, I'm super. Hello? Tree gifts! Nah, I got two, not tree. Whoa, what was that? Ooh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! Or what you see? What you got for me? Oh, it's that dragon thing. I've seen that dragon thing. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird, Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, let's go. Hello? Why do these have weird holes in them? Probably have something to put in those later. Star thing and like a thing, I don't know. Hello? Yo! Item for me! Yeah, I've seen... That you fight the big old dragon. You know, Gabella, nobody invited you along, did they? I like 
Hi, Goombella. She's sassy. Whoop. Squish. But I guess it's fine if Mario says to come with. I got a dried shroom, a less than tasty dried shroom, replenishes with one HP. Oh man, I gotta hit all these trees now. Hello? Oh. I got a badge! Close call. Well, heck yeah. We definitely want that. We can afford it. We can. Boom! Excellent. I feel like I'm doing a lot better at the very beginning in the game. Oops. Than I did, um... At the beginning of the other game. The little clapper at the end cracks me up. That's cheering you on. I gotta watch the audience more. I assume they're not gonna throw shit at me. Harmful shit too often, but I need to pay attention to that. You're killing it! You're killing him, Ron! A uh, hello? Oh, okay. He gave up. Oop! I missed! Good battle! Good battle! Smash! Uh, I guess there's nothing I can do here. Noise. I'm assuming Goombella shouldn't be head bonking either. Show me hammer. Buzz. Ah. I'm sorry. That's strike one. Dang it. All right. Well. Let's see what's in this pipe. Before we move on. Oh, hey! Um, hello? Uh, excuse me? I'll come back for you. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Thanks, girl. Checking behind the fences. Oh, hey, look. Boop. Oh god, there's a lot going on here. Alright, um... Jerk. So it's not that Goombella is a know-it-all. She's just really good at Google Foo. Yo, that's that's incredibly helpful. Oh wow, I am sucking at that all of a sudden. I need to be more careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. A goomba, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Just stick with the hammer, me. I know how to hammer. I can do that very easily. Yeah. 
I lost star points for that one, though. Yo, yo, yo! Can you hammer in the evening? Can you hammer in the morning? When hammer's on a bagel, you get hammers anytime? Whoa! Holy crap, this is really far back. Boop! Oh! Oh, that's cute! Look at that! That's adorable! What happens if I keep going? Hey, hey! What happens if I go the other way? Also, please tell me I got the song reference right? That sounds familiar. I changed it to the, the Pizza Bagel song. Because I, I couldn't remember what you were actually referencing. Save point, please. Oh, hey, Toad Town. Oh, Petalburg, excuse me. It looks like Toad Town. Oh, hey, Arlo uses this song, too. Damn it, I'm just gonna be like... It's no wonder that this is, like, Arlo's favorite game. He uses all the music from it. Uh, welcome, travelers. Huh, where are you... What, where is this, you ask? Why, it's Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we have visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once the dragon hooktail was spotted flying around in this area... Well, it didn't take tourism, to put it that way. Uh, people just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. How is it Toad Town if it's clearly Koopa Village? Alright, Mr. P, you're right. When you're right, you're right. So, it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. Ugh. So, anyway, Green Boots, have you heard of these things called Crystal Shards? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Shards, you say? Nope, oh, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Who was his age are, um, really smart? Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? This sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Yeah, thanks. I need to heal. <laughs> This good sir is the inn! Yes, please. Very good. Just sliding on in there. Love it. Can I walk in the fireplace? Nope. Alright, well. Good stuff. Do, 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 look good. A save point. That's exactly what I want. <clears throat> and you know what? With that, you guys. That's it. That's all for me tonight. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to be playing this. It's really fun so far. It's super cute. Super fun. And I can't wait to keep playing more of it. Got to the perfect moment. Oh my god. Oh, well done again in the Elite Four. Thank you. We actually had a good one. It was fun. We didn't lose too many of them. All right. We'll be hit back to this next week. Uh, Wednesday, back to Phoenix Wright. Sorry again, I had to skip this week for Phoenix Wright. I was feeling kind of shit. Uh, but we'll get back to it, and it'll be very exciting next time on stream. So, um, take care of yourselves. Have a great time. Have a great night and week until I get to see you again. Um, yeah. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you're excited to watch more of this. Alrighty. Bye. Good night. <laughs>